Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome and my name is Alyssa. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a YouTube thumbnail and download fonts as well. The apps you will need are Canva and you'll need a browser for the font.com as well. So when you open the app, you're going to hit create a design and then you're going to hit custom size and you're going to put in 1280 for the width and for the height 720 because these are YouTube's dimensions for thumbnails. Now we're going to go to elements and this is where you're going to go to the grids. Um, in my thumbnail, I wanted to use three photos, so I selected the three photo, but you could choose whichever one that you would like. So you can either upload your thumbnail photos, or if they're from your camera roll, you can just hit camera roll and then you'll find them in there. I found the photos for this thumbnail off of Google, and I'm going to show you guys what I just searched to find them as well. But right now, I'm just adding the photos to the grids, and this is how you do it. You just drag it onto there. All right, so this is where I showed you guys just where I got the photos from for this thumbnail in the video. Afterwards, when we go back to Canva, now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to add a heading and to use your fonts. So at the end of the video, well, towards the end of the video is when I show you guys how to use the font and download your own. But for right now, I'm just showing you guys what fonts I already have downloaded and how I just position everything and add the stuff in there. So right here, I'm just playing around with my fonts, just seeing whichever one I want to use. I usually use my main title in like the middle of the photos well, in the thumbnail, sorry, because that's usually how it captivates people's attention. So right here, I'm just showing you guys brand kit, just a quick example, but I'm going to get more into detail on that when I show you how to download the font. So like I said before, right now I'm just looking and playing around with fonts, seeing which one I think fits the aesthetic of the photos. So if your photos have color like on them and it's kind of hard to see, usually I would just hit effects and I would pick outline. It's just so that it can add a little color to the text that you have so it's easier on the eyes and people can actually see what the title says. So here you just you would just hit effects and then I selected outline, but you can pick whichever one you would like and then you can play around with the colors as well. I think I chose gray for this. I just felt like it matched the color scheme, so. Now, in some people's thumbnails, and I think it's trending now too, you will see that some people have like a small little picture of other pictures for their thumbnail. So usually people use this grid right here. Um, it's just a little circle. You can pick whichever one you like, but you would drag a photo in it just like you would do with the bigger grids that we used in the beginning. Um, I was also playing around with some elements, but I actually didn't like this pink one. I did not think that it looked good at all. So I'm just looking for a random photo to add um, with this thumbnail because I forgot to down download a third one. So as you can see, I just, I coincidentally had a purple little background. So I just added that inside the little circle. And I have this little squiggly line that I like. It points at the little photo so that it could bring it to the person's eyes when they're looking at your thumbnail as well. This is optional and they also have other options if you don't like the one that I picked. But yeah, I think it adds, it makes it look really, really cute.
so this is optional but some people like to do this as well if your video has like certain topics on it like if you were doing a maintenance and maintenance vlog and you were doing your nails and stuff usually people like to put that in the thumbnail with their photo so i did add like a little i now use maintenance vlog as an example but i did add a little body of text and like i said you can just fit that to your liking um if you don't want this here this is just optional i'm just showing you guys in, as an example So after I had everything fit to my liking, I'm going to show you guys how to download your own fonts now. So you're going to go to thefont.com. Um, if you guys are looking on TikTok or something to see which fonts you like, you can just search it on the search bar right here. But coincidentally, I've seen this really cute font, so I selected that for the photo. And you're going to download it. And then after it's downloaded, you're just going to go to your files, hit downloads. And then you can just click on the zip file to uncompress it and then you'll be able to add it to Canva. And I'm going to show you guys when the video gets there. So now we're going back to Canva and I'm going to show you guys how to add the new font on there. So you're going to hit the add a brand kit, then you're going to hit upload and then you'll hit add new. And then you're going to find the file and then you'll just hit open and then just hit yes, upload anyway. And it'll upload the, the font automatically. And as you can see, all of the fonts are in there. So when you just go to add another title, your font will be right there and you can use it. This is going to be the end of the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, just comment down below and I answer my subscribers and my viewers really 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 quick so i'll get to you guys very quickly um but yeah thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video thank you